So what are you working on over here? I hear a lot of pounding. <laughs> <laughs> so lemongrass to kind of, sorry if I hit Oh, you can grass. smell it. Um, do you smell how fragrant that is? That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to open it up, l release the, the flavors of the plant. and oh, it smells so good. Lemongrass is great because it's got all sorts of uh, nutritional properties. Really? Uh, people like to drink it as a tea. Mm -hmm. uh, they consider it medicinal in um, some Asian countries. And it's just kind of like one of those, you know, like how like um, British people tend to really enjoy Earl Grey tea and it's yeah. kind of like their go-to. Uh, something I found with um, some Asian cultures is they really kind of just go towards, excuse me, um, um, lemongrass tea. And it's something they really enjoy. Nice. So this is just It's such a lovely stock. flavor. Okay. Uh, and you're just going to throw your lemongrass, all of it in there. So two stalks, roughly. Nice. Um, if you really like lemongrass, you can add more, you can add less. It's mm -hmm. up to you. And then some ginger. Very nice. Fish sauce. Okay. Absolutely. And we're just sort of building a broth here, and this mm -hmm. is going to be to poach the halibut? Yes. Great. This will kind of give you the opportunity to really infuse a lot of flavor into the fish. You are putting mm. quite a bit of flavor yep. in here. Bay leaves. Nice. Soy sauce. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that Struck works. a chord there. Sweet chili sauce. Wow, really putting a lot of flavor in here. This is awesome. And then a little bit of honey to add some sweetness. May I nice. have one of those spoons, please? Of course. And you're just going to want to bring this to a simmer for about five, six minutes, and then let it steep for a little while. It's almost like a tea. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like a tea. Yeah. Oh, and then the last thing we need to add is a little bit of lemon. All right, get a little acidity in there. This has come to a boil. It so smells so good. <laughs> mm. We're going to let it kind of just boil for a little bit, and then we're going to kill it and let it steep. kind of just want to eat that as a soup. So you're going to strain this out, it looks like? Yep. Nice. So you really only needed to let that steep for a little bit. Yeah, I really, I mean, because the, they're so, so, everything's so aromatic mm -hmm. and flavorful. It really doesn't take long. Nice. Mm. So we're just going to That would make such a lovely broth here. for any kind of like a noodle soup. And we're going to add it to our pan here, let it kind of get a little hot. A lot hot. <laughs> wow. I forgot we turned that on. It's like lava. A little bit. All right, that's better. It just like reduced by half. <laughs> Now it's really so flavorful. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Can't be a bad thing, right? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh god. Nice. All right. So once that's hanging out, we can start our fish. This is a beautiful piece of halibut. Thank is this Pacific halibut? I believe so. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna you know, safety first, and we're just gonna cut a small portion of this halibut. All right. Halibut's a really good flaky fish. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Do you like halibut? Oh, I love halibut. Mm. I'm just going to let that hang out there. Oh, I'm just going to a fish I don't like. <laughs> no? Excuse me. I'm just going to salt and pepper it. I, can't, I don't think I've met one myself. No. Yeah. No. You're going to want this to poach till about 105 degrees. Okay. 110 would be finished, but you want it to, um, carryover cooking is going to happen. Mm. So do and, you overcook? Yeah, and you know, nobody really likes dry fish. But yeah. how long does it take for the fish to cook? Um, it depends on the thickness of your yeah. fish and how hot your um, for, uh, your stock is. Mm -hmm. Is um, lower and slower better? Yes, especially okay. with poaching. Right. 